300,000 NATO troops are ready to enter Poland to fight Russia. NATO is ready at a high level to send 300,000 soldiers to Poland. This was said by the deputy chief of the Polish general staff, Karol Dymanowski. American soldiers have been stationed in Poland for a long time, several thousand of them. They train with us regularly. Remember that the United States and other allies also support us in other areas, in the air, at sea, in space, and in cybersecurity, he said. Asked whether it is possible that the number of American troops in Poland will increase to 100,000, he said that this is a realistic scenario. This is an assumption of NATO's latest plans, which were approved at the political level at the last summit in Vilnius. Until now, there were 40,000 soldiers at NATO headquarters, now there are 300,000, Dymanowski said. He added that the soldiers will arrive in the country under threat even before the war starts. According to him, there are various ready-made scenarios to adequately respond to aggression. NATO maintains eight battle groups across Eastern Europe aimed at acting as an initial frontline defense in the event of a Russian invasion. Four are in the Baltic states and Poland, and these were supplemented by the creation of four more in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania, and Slovakia after the attack on Ukraine. Germany said this month it would contribute a brigade of troops to defend Lithuania, where the country leads a 1,000-member battle group, although it emerged that the bulk of the extra 3,500 Berlin intends to contribute would be based on its own soil, ready to move farther east if needed. Houthis target U.S. ships, Russia profiting from Houthi Red Sea attacks. Yemen's Iran-aligned Houthi group fired missiles at a Liberian-flagged container ship in the Red Sea but did not hit the vessel. The U.S. Central Command said two anti-ship ballistic missiles were fired at the Pinocchio from Yemeni territory, U.S. Central Command said, resulting in no damage or injuries. Houthi military spokesperson Yahya Sari earlier said the group had targeted and hit the ship, which he described as American. Sari said the Houthi group would escalate their military operations during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan in solidarity with Palestinians in response to the war in Gaza. The United States and Britain have launched strikes on Houthi targets in Yemen and redesignated the militia as a terrorist group. Airstrikes attributed to the US-British coalition hit port cities and small towns in western Yemen on March the 11th killing at least 11 people and injuring 14, a spokesperson for Yemeni's internationally recognized government told Reuters. U.S. Central Command said it conducted six self-defense strikes on Monday in Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen. The strikes destroyed an unmanned underwater vessel and 18 anti-ship missiles, which U.S. Central Command said presented an imminent threat to merchant vessels and U.S. Navy ships in the region. Meanwhile, Russia has been heavily sanctioned since invading Ukraine on February the 24th, 2022. Many goods that normally traveled by ground through Russia on their way from Asia to Europe were shifted to the Red Sea route as a result. German shipping company DHL reportedly said that requests for shipments using Moscow's state-owned company Russian Railways had skyrocketed by 40% since the Houthis forced the longer route to become commonplace in December. The requests have picked up since the beginning of the situation in the Red Sea by around 40%, DHL told the Financial Times. The overwhelming amount is going through Russia. Similarly, specialist shipping companies, Railgate Europe and the Railbridge Cargo both said that demands for commercial shipments to take the Russian rail route had increased by over 30% following the Houthi attacks.